Blessings to you. My name is Seal Sylvester Jame. I serve here in the country, you know, just doing my best to add value to society. Oh, okay. That is very interesting, everyone. Uh, that is uh, Pastor Seal Sylvester Jame uh, here in the studio today uh, to talk about important things. Um, uh, Mr. Uh, Pastor, yes. uh, during the President's nationwide tour, uh -huh. he made mention of uh, building 60 mocks mm -hmm. every year in the country. Wow. Uh, what is your say to that? Well, um, uh, yes, I have heard about it. I didn't directly hear it from him, but you know, I saw um, uh, what's happening on social media and what people are saying. So, Barrow, as an individual, you know, um, he has the right, as an individual, Bar Barrow has the right to build one million prayer houses if he wants, as an individual, because he's standing on an individual platform, and he also has a political platform. Um, uh, so at an individual level, he could do what he wants, because he has, he has uh, convictions as a Muslim man. And I think that's okay. You know, he could build mosques if he wants to. But um, as the president of the nation of the Gambia, he stands on a political platform as well. And so on that platform, he has to be sensitive because guys like us, we voted for the coalition. Uh, we are, we are, it's not about Barrow, it's, not, it's, it's the coalition. It's a, it's a team of people that wanted to see this nation progress. And so we voted for them. So if he is speaking from that platform, he has to be sensitive that there are people like us. You know, and people and other people like the, the you know, the Baha'i, and, and I mean, generally people of other faith, right? I mean, uh, so I believe that statement was insensitive, and um, it's an error that needs to be corrected. This is a secular state, and so we people, I mean, we the Christians and other, you know, people of other faith should be considered. Um, uh, some people are saying that if Baro should uh, build 60 months, she, uh, he is also to build 60 choices. Uh, do you think that uh, president, the president should get into religious affairs? Um, uh, well, again, as an individual, he has uh, faith convictions. Um, uh, but if he's talking from a political platform, then he has to consider the people and, and stay away from that. Because religion is separated from politics. And uh, so he should track carefully. I don't believe there is a shortage of prayer houses in the country. I mean, you go to villages, you see mosques there. So let's consider important things. Let's, let's, let's prioritize. So when you consider dif the different sectors, education, we need schools. So Barrow should be building schools. We need hospitals. Barrow should be building hospitals. Let's guess what? I buried somebody in the last two weeks. I was with a person in the hospital around 3 AM. And um, this person needed um, uh, something that the doctors couldn't do because they said what they needed to use to stop the bleeding of that individual was not available in the hospital. Barrow should go fix those things. Um, uh, the roads are messed up. Something just came to my mind again. Simple gloves to work with in the hospital. Gloves. Doctors lack it. The nurses lack gloves to use. So our health sector is suffering. Our you know, educational sector is suffering. Listen, before coming here, I needed to take a shower, right? I got into the bathroom, there was no water. I called out to my wife, please help me with water. Check the big container, there must be some water in there. She said, the water is finishing that. And I mean, so she had to scout out for water for me to bath. So Barrow should go fix those things. And remember that religion and politics are not the same. They are separated. Uh, uh, Mr. Pastor Sil Sylvester, uh, according to uh, Pastor Momodo Kande, uh, he said that the registration of uh, churches had been banned since the former regime. Is that true? Um, uh, so personally, I believe there is some kind of confusion somewhere. Um, uh, yes, I know that case because you know I serve with um, the Pastors Alliance in the Gambia, 
and I'm a very close associate of the Gambia Christian Council, so this case is not new to me. Um, so yes, if you go to if you go to you know the registry, if you go to Banjul to register a church, they tell you that's uh, an embargo. Um, uh, but I believe Christian Council, you know, we are taking steps. Christian Council is taking steps to fix that. We'll fix it. It's just a confusion. Because registration of churches should not happen with AG Chambers. It should happen with Christian Council. So I believe that will be fixed very soon. Um, uh, but yes, that is what is hanging in the air. When you go to Banjo, that is what they will always say. Uh, OK. Uh, the president, Adam Barrow, mm -hmm. claimed that uh, the Gambia is not a Muslim state. Mm -hmm. It's no longer a Muslim state. But instead, it is a secular state. Mm -hmm. uh, but still, now the registration of church is not yet open. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think that uh, the Gambia is a fully secular state? Um, uh, well, that is what we keep saying. But we need to see um, such, you know, narratives um, uh, translated into reality. We need to see the manifestation of those things. Um, yes, if he says Gambia is a secular state, then. The statement of the 60 Muslim prayer houses uh, should not have come into the whole national equation. Um, let's face other matters. Um, uh, so you we are referring to, your last question was? Like, uh, whether do you think the Gambia is fully a secular state? Um, uh, yes, it is. We just have to leave it. Again, you know, leadership is a 360 degree you know, concept. Um, let's consider a CEO and a gate man. The CEO has influence, the gate man has influence. So uh, Barrow has influence, all of us have influence. So we are the ones to leave out the realities of a secular state. Um, I believe Gambia is a secular state. It's just that I uh, also believe that there are people outside of this nation who are trying um, in, uh, to apply pressure on our government and our leaders to do some things on their own favors, right? So I ask those people to humble, I mean, I humbly ask them to respect our democracy. It's a democratic nation. If they want to do anything about religion, they should go to religious organizations and walk through those religious organizations and leave our leaders to do their work. I mean, Barrow should face the work, and all of them, let them face the development of the nation. The, you walk around the country, you see malnourished children. You walk around the country, you walk in gutters. Those things need to be fixed. Let's face the reality and um, stop bringing religion into politics and um, into governance. It, that, look, it doesn't do the do. The mother said, "Papa was moving from Lamotta to Gambia to do. Gambia is not to do. You sell, you know, you know, definitely more to Gambia to them. To them. Then you are to get your bar. You legate the cabin. So if you have a hand, you get them to the heave. You am ling leka. You get them to the lapetan. You ling sohla pull. Am we are going to run into am. You must not get us to lapetan. Get the hand sohla. Lord, then you are a guest. You buy. You sell. You know, definitely. But we have to consider that am not your hand. You must be the. Come ling the phone. Aki ayaya jamie. The bugger push. I I agenda." Then buy leader, then buy baron, buy government, but you legay. You would eat religious organizations. But in Nanfi, you def legay, but no, you buy your thing because in government, big real. We should find out uh, religious organizations and then uh, work towards the development of the nation. Um, uh, Pastor, uh, what, what was the challenges of, uh, what, what were the challenges that you faced or that the churches faced during the former regime? Well, I mean, uh, Okay, in the former regime, uh, the, church, the church was doing quite well. I mean, except at the dying end of um, that regime when we began to hear things about, I mean, uh, burial in Banjul is not allowed again at the cemetery. Um, I personally, you know, built a church somewhere and it was demolished. They, have, they, to, they told me the reasons why they demolished the, the structure I put up, but I read different reasons into it, you know. Um, um, so we fa I personally faced things like that in the past, and of course, one day during Ramadan, um, uh, the police, you know, made a statement. They said there should be no drumming, no dancing, no music during Ramadan. And I remember I personally went to the police station with another pastor to say, "Listen, as Christians, when we worship the Lord, we use music." Um, uh, so they said, "No, no, 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 no. It's the Christians are not affected." But I said, "Well, if the Christians are not affected," you then need to rewrite that statement and pass it through the media outlets, let people know Christians are exempted from this. 
Um, because at that moment we went, two churches suffered because um, young people had music within those church premises and they went in to, to disturb, and that shouldn't be. So we, 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 we realized those things were actually um, uh, causing some trouble, and we did our best to see how they could be addressed at that time. Uh, yeah. Okay, Pastor, uh, the president is widely criticized on social media uh, that he is not participating a lot in uh, church activities. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, the inauguration of the first Gambian bishop, mm -hmm. uh, he didn't attend it. Uh, what, how, how do you feel, and the church members, how, how do they feel towards that? Um, uh, okay, so again, I mean, uh, as an individual, if he doesn't feel like, I mean, attending uh, such occasions, um, he's free not to. You know, I have many months if I can then my invite um, program. Then I'm lo ham ne ni dinam material dem. Or I'm lo ham ne mangchi mangchi yangu. Then my ma wahdu pul madame no no. Some munta dem. Then I yone pul ni ni. I mean pul new new represent my folk. So baro defo na do ba yone na pul new represent kofa. I mean lawyer da bonyo won na chi program bo man gis na ko. Il y a des qui sont des gens qui des gens qui des gens qui des gens des But I mean, we should continue to pray for him. As a Christian, we pray. Listen, last week we spent time to pray for him. So I invite people to to kind of convert the energy that they used to criticize Barrow and his government to begin praying. Criticizing is good. I mean, I mean, it, I mean, constructive, um, giving a constructive criticism. You know. Um, but again, Mawaha Gambia and Situti, we also have a role to play. Leadership, necrotic correct leadership. That's what Dawbe Sisuf. Baro amna lumo lum nara def. Unit amna lum nara def. That's what Melning lunyo oye 360 degree concept in leadership. Come ne moko wahe one. CEO bi amna influence. Gate man bi amna influence. Everybody has influence. So nyun nyep nyo wara def. Come ne Chinese ide def. Chinese nyo ne. Many little things done by many little people in many little places will change the face of the world. Gambian Buneka, the forward of Jok Mudef Dara. The Bunwan the government, 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 we munin kwa daf nyami nyan. Nun nyep nyo wara bole so nyahoi, nyu legei, deka gidam kanam. Ta hemel ni so yi doxi yoni, nganara dugasi poto poto. Anna nyu deke si borgo gunonu. Ma johlan ben a simple example. Sufeke amna nyo hamna nyu gideka bakao. Let's say there are 5,000 people in bakao. Example, lala johle. 5,000 people yoy, sufeke ne, wear Buneka, nyu get tek one. Hundred dollars. Where are you going? See, where are you going? Five thousand people can multiply by hundred dollars. Have a million. Like if you can, you can see back on where are you going? Can you get a hundred dollars? Just a beer. So they may be am at. Where are you going? Ah, there are six million. Six million. Let them know that they buy back on. But when they buy back on, they buy what they buy. They joke. They buy a bar. Baron Nitla, then a Jum, I'm not your Hamdana, what in a Jum, Mugay Janga Chile, Mustadon President, Munta Musta Bocasi politics, Mugay Lige, and then Konyanal, so the Federa, while you've been the Naco Barolinga Daphne Rangna, while you knew Dafco Ak Bugil, you Dafco Ak Love, hm, Nyanalco, the Cabidam Canam. I'm Nyanalco, the Cabidam Canam, a pastor, Ruru and Losarotro. Um, a pastor, how do you observe the relationship between the Muslims and the Christians in the country? In the country. Um, uh, Before the, the declaration of Gambia as an Islamic state, uh, before then, I, I believe things were going, you know, well but to some extent. You know, there might have been some little issues here and there, but until that time, I think I mean I think things were going well. But the time that that statement was made and um, Christians. Um, gathered together at the stadium to pray, and Christian Council made attempts to meet Yaya Jame, and he refused to have an audience with, uh, with the council. Um, uh, it was bringing some kind of factions. Uh, if you ask me, on a scale of 1 to 10, 
10 being the highest. How healthy is the relationship between Christians and Muslims in this country? Then I want to say that by 8, you know, it's closer to the 8th end. By the time you find out that I'm not your hamna, I'm not your hamna, I'm not your hamna, they are coming in to do their own missional work, but they are also planting seeds that might not be healthy for our nation. They can be yagana neka se jama, why new yoga is a bitty, no the def I lige, the change in heli domi, the lenwahlo hamna ni, um, musufe am my isi re rubi. You say nyunyan, then yan, you buy some new buys and help. Um, uh, pastor. Paul refused to address Christian during Christmas and Easter. What do you say about that? Well, I understand he was out of town, but even if he was out of town, I mean, uh, technology, you know, makes it very easy nowadays. You could just sit somewhere, somebody can use a good phone, good camera, and you could send a message to the Christians in your nation. But again, again, you know, from my perspective, I don't know what stopped him from doing it, but it would have been a good thing for him to do since it is a good tradition. You have good traditions, you have bad traditions. This is a good tradition and I think uh, it should be maintained. Uh, so whatever reason, well, I mean, whatever might have been the thing that stopped him from doing it, we hope that this coming year that wouldn't be there and he would be able to do it. If, if he doesn't do it this time, then we'll begin to read in between the lines and uh, then, 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 the, then the rhetorics will be different. Okay, then let's wait for the upcoming Christmas yeah. Yeah. Uh, and see what is going to be his reaction. Yeah. Um, uh, Pastor, mm -hmm. what is your say to the new government? My say to the new government, we have a lot of things to do in this country. Gambia, as small as it is, we have a lot of work to do. Um, so I will ask the government to look at the national equation and consider the most important factors within the equation so that the output would be better. And uh, so if they consider the equation and look at the factors that should, you know, kind of fit in, um, they should also prioritize. I want you to imagine with me for a moment. Imagine I have some sand here and rocks and gravel. Now, the rocks represent the most important things. The gravel represents the, the, the next on the list of priorities. And then you have the sand. The sand represents the least important things. So I would say to the government, considering the sand of the Gambia and the gravel of the Gambia and the rocks of the Gambia, they should not focus on the sand. Because if they keep doing the sandy stuff, I mean, uh, just imagine a cup, right? If you p keep putting sand in a cup, on and on and on and on. The time will come, the cup will be filled up, and there will be no space for rocks and gravel. So I will say to the government, there are important things to do. Building mosques here is like sand to me. So stop putting sand in the cup of the Gambia. Now, remove the sand, let the sand wait. Take the rocks, which represent the most important things, put them in the cup first. After you do the most important things, Consider the gravel, which will the gravel, right? The pebbles that will come next, which represent the next thing on the priority list. Put them in. Just imagine when you put the rocks in and you throw in the gravel, what will happen? The gravel will fall in, right? Oh yes. And guess what? Later the sand can come. And when you put in the sand, the sand will also find its way through the cup, and the cup will be filled, right? Take it the other way around. Only the sand being put in. Will the rocks have space? No. Will the gravel have space? No. So let's prioritize. We have children to educate. We have our roads to fix, water and electricity to fix, and many other things. And listen, I tell people I don't only talk, I also act. So I am helping with education. We are helping with health. We are helping with housing. We are doing our, our bit. So I think we have the moral authority to speak. And so we ask them to act and help the Gambians. When we walk around the country, enter Banjul, Banjul is thinking. I mean, I was in Banjul to co collect, I mean, uh, a coffin, right? Case in it could dela the Munjeli Banjul, because the Lopitan gave them a muton link of a year. They got a dinner, yala bok and a chilolo, yala onako, white amid. Doctor Ibn Nixon gave me a name, a mun won, linear jail pool stop, that would be natural. I mean, that would be too runono. Um, so we let's fix that. The road was stinky. The fact, the fact, the fact that you are. 
Sun capital bi do fa mëna yobbu ndeen nga ba koko lolo lolo day na do fa day war torop ha so du du baro rek nak ñu ñepp wara liggey ñu dëkk banjul ñepp nañ wara jop ñu liggey suñu dëkk gi and we can do it i call out to the young people because young people ñom lañ yaakar ñu ñi nga xamne ñu ñoo jité liggey they can still do something by but the young people ñom mëna change dëkk bi bala ñoo daw di dem ba ko wéna understand na lañ dëm dem lo ba ko wé because metti na ci dëkk gi waye bala ñoo daw bax nañu tok ñu ñu xelalante ñu liggey suñ dëkk bi mu dem kanam ñom li leen yalla may yalla may na ku nekk suma waxe mbiri dos to seize dafa fekk ne ma nge buga doxe el lesson lesson bi moy li ñu yalla may ñu jël ko ñu sedo ko ak ñeneen lan nañu yalla may suñu maye xel ñu sedo xel ak ñeneen lan moy tere suñ xala yu gori xala yu jigen ñi nga xamne ñu ngi ci high school ñu dem ci community ci ne ah mère yi ak 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 suñ papa yi gënd leen seen xala yu ndawa ndaw yi ne ñew ñu jangal leen mass ak english ñun ñu ngi high school ñom ñu ngi primary school lañ gëna suñu jangal leen ñu sedo lañ am xaliss lañ am nañ ko sedo knowledge lañ am nañ ko sedo kaatan lañ am ñu sedo ko defar suñu yoni hmm tay tuti ma chang ci benn pax parce que ndox gi da fa bari am nañu fa dëkk mën nañu jog ne ah na lañu liggey fi wow Um, uh, uh, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, that was Pastor Sil Sylvester Jame here in Gambian Talent Forum. Uh, and, this is all, and this is what we will always bring to you. Uh, guests who will always uh, give you important things which you know that you can learn through it. And what Pastor mentioned, everything that he mentioned here is very important. And then it is uh, also a word of advice. Uh, thank you very much and uh, we hope to see you in our next forum. Thank you very much. Y'all want me to do a song for your kids? This all is all right. All right. Let's go. So, I listen to Gambian Talent Radio Show. School is over. Go home, do your work. Yeah.